The Sony ZV-1 has been in an interesting place in my lineup of cameras as most of the cameras right now that I own are cinema cameras for more production type work. And I needed a camera that could fit in my YouTube and content creation workflow that had really good autofocus that was easy to use, could fit in a really small backpack and make it easier for me to make content on the go, not have to rely on my cinema cameras for doing content that they weren't really meant for. One of the problems though that I realized as I started using the Sony ZV-1 more, which had me looking for other options, was the battery life wasn't that great. When I put something like a tripod on it, the battery door was blocked. At its widest focal length, it wasn't quite wide enough to get the exact framing that I would want all the time. So at first I started looking at other cameras like the Canon R6 that had the autofocus that I needed, but was a little bit overkill for a lot of the YouTube content I wanted to make with it. So then I circled back to the ZV-1 and I got this little setup right here that I actually purchased everything from Amazon that made this camera a lot more useful and I'm starting to make a lot more content with it, not just for this channel Reach Films, but for Jazz Is, also for my personal channel. It just makes this setup a lot more usable. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the three accessories that are must-haves if you are going to use the ZV-1 for content creation, creating YouTube videos, these products make your life easier. Two of the items that you're absolutely gonna need are together under $100, and then the microphone that we'll talk about isn't something you absolutely need, but if you want crisp audio, I absolutely recommend getting it. The first item I wanna talk about is this adjustable tripod handle, and it's not for the Sony ZV-1, but it works really well. Not only is it a tripod with a cold shoe on it, but you can also extend it and get the angle you want out of your Sony ZV-1. So I can now have the camera at an angle because luckily with this, I can angle the camera, I can have it out, I can now put the camera out here, and all of a sudden, I can see myself, I can film myself, and I get the angles that I want. Now the next product is gonna be something that you're probably thinking about, and it is, well, that's great that you can use this handle, but if I'm using the Sony ZV-1 that much, how am I gonna change out batteries? The second product is this small little metal bracket you see on the bottom of the Sony ZV-1. This bracket's main purpose is you screw it into the bottom of the Sony ZV-1 via its quarter inch, and it gives you a bunch of different quarter inch threads right here. And then by doing that, which you see it's mounted into the quarter inch thread right here, I can now open the battery slot whenever I need to and still have this on a tripod or have it on this tripod accessory and be able to switch out batteries whenever I need to. So I think having this bottom bracket is a must. This little bottom bracket right here is the most minimalist solution as you can see. And so it saves you a lot of weight and it keeps somewhat of the original form factor of the Sony ZV-1. So you're not adding weight size bulk to it. The ZV-1 also has a hot shoe mount up here, and then this bracket does add an additional cold shoe on the bottom. This bracket I think is a must, it's only $20, and this handle is only $20 too, so both of these together are really cheap, which brings us to the last item. The reason I'm recommending a wireless transmitter is the fact that once you start having the ZV-1 a certain distance away from you, the internal audio quality isn't gonna be that great because the microphone is just right here on the top of the Sony ZV-1. So it's really great when the camera's really close to you. As I said before, the camera just isn't wide enough. So when you start holding it out, especially with the tripod, you're not gonna get the clearest audio. If you're using the wireless lav from Comico or really any wireless lav, you're gonna have cleaner audio than what the camera can get internally. On top of that, if you're using something like a Comica XD Boom Pro or the new Rode Wireless Go 2s, the transmitters do have internal recording, so you don't have to worry about if the wireless transmission drops out on these. You'll have the internal recording in your transmitters too, so you'll never have to worry about audio. The other thing too is if you start using the tripod handle as a tripod and you wanna put the camera down somewhere, you could walk a good distance away and still get pristinely clean audio, and you won't be able to do that with the internal microphone. So those three accessories together are a really great kit to turn the Sony ZV-1 into a proper YouTube camera. I think for the price and the quality you get out of the Sony ZV-1, 
It's really unmatched, and that's why I really enjoy using it for YouTube. I can put it in my backpack with a really small red Komodo setup, and I could go out and I could film, and I can have this to kind of capture my journey on the vlogging side of things without either having to use the red to do the vlogging, which is a real big pain, or have to go get a mirrorless camera, which although it is much smaller than the red Komodo or any of my cinema cameras, it's not gonna be as small as having a Sony ZV-1. If you have any questions about the accessories I went over today, please put them in the comments below. And if you got knowledge out of today's video, please make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep up to date with the latest videos on the channel. Till next time, thank you for watching everybody. My name is Jeff Fagan, and I will see you in the next video.